Yo, 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 what's going on, Jeremiah Black Development Network? Hey, man, I see you guys subscribing, commenting. Um, if you love the content, give it a good thumbs up. It's 100% free. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment as well. Let's get into the content already. Um, these jokers seem to be in trouble uh, because of some fake trolling or something that they're doing, but I'm going to kind of get into this shenanigans um, as well. actually have hobby. I'm glad you asked. Okay, guys, so I have a really cool little video clip to show you. I recently mm -hmm. dropped a hour-long podcast called Top 10 Red Flags in Women, which is episode eight of nine podcasts that I've done. For whatever reason, the toxic feminists on TikTok love to throw your boy out of context and paint me as a evil women-hating fuck, right? But I'm actually here to burst that bubble and unfortunately not live up to that expectation you guys have of me sure. by showing you a little experiment that I did with editing. So I'm going to show you guys a TikTok that got a lot of heat. Basically, I gave instructions to my editor saying, yo, make these as polarizing as possible. Mm -hmm. I want to trigger people. I want to mm -hmm. get crazy engagement. I need to get people to funnel over from TikTok to the podcast. And boy, did they deliver. They Pause it right there. Did this nigga just say, um, I did an experiment, which first, that means you went out of your way to do it. You went out of your way to do it. <laughs> okay. You said you wanted to make it as triggering as possible. Um, and it's with edits. So you purposefully left out shit in order to draw your audience. Okay. And to draw them over to your content. Now, here's the thing, and this is always why I get on people about when they say, oh, all you seen was the clip. That is bullshit, actually, because at the end of the day, you went out of your way to make said clip so that people can get upset and then come over to your content. But what you're mad about is some of those people did not translate over to your content. Instead, they seen the content for what it was and the, the triggering clip and didn't see the entirety of the conversation. And so they bust your ass on social media. Now, me personally, I edit some of my clips from the podcast. Also, make sure you guys go and watch Mansplaining Podcast right after this, okay? Um, the visuals are on there, and then I also have Spotify, um, other things like that as well. Um, I'm trying to get why. Why did you create, you know what I mean? Why did you do that? You. You can't create a problem and then then say, oh, well, that's just toxic fe uh, feminism. So let's get more into the video. Made some very triggering TikToks and they got a lot of engagement, which was actually really good for growth. But the problem is my ass is on the line. Now people take these clips out of context, of course, because of the way they were edited and paint me as some kind of villain. So I'm going to show you which you you fucking ask for that. That's what you asked for, bro. You asked for that. You guys, these clips and show you the experiments that essentially proved that women are allowed to criticize men, but men are not allowed to criticize women. And a lot of people got upset, which, you know, is to be expected, right? You see something on the internet, you get angry. So anyways, here was clip number one. And so, so wait a minute, you knew that was going to happen, but you still edited to be very polarizing and triggering to go viral on TikTok. Nigga, we heard How many girls time? do you know actually have hobbies? Like some girls, like they knit or they read or something like that. Shout out to girls that knit. Shout out to my queens that know how to knit, make yeah. a blanket, a scarf, gloves. My mom did it. My Nana did it. My aunts, like women back in the day, just learned how to do things that are important, such as knit. Anyway, so what happened was I was talking about how a lot of girls don't have hobbies. How many women do you know actually have hobbies? And then my buddy, who's also trolling, says, yeah, like reading and knitting. And as soon as I heard knitting, I'm like, man, I love women that knit. And what happened was we took that and we mashed it together. Sure. And now people are saying, oh, well, I don't knit for you. All women should knit. That's all they should do. You should date your mom. You should. So here's my, my take on that. You know what I mean? I always tell people to ignore dumb shit. But at the end of the day, some people just can't. Um, but also you, you got those comments. You keep admitting that, hey, we mashed that together. We did it on purpose. And we got the outcome that we expected. Now they're toxic. 
That does not make fucking sense, bro. And here's the thing. Like, I get on the Manosphere for doing that. MTR just got in trouble with that. Media tutorials and reviews. He just got in trouble doing that. Um, and they took his sponsorship away. See, what was going to happen is, to be honest with y'all, is that a lot of y'all dudes that come on here talking reckless and thinking that you can get these experiments all, which you're, it's a failed experiment. Because as a man, I seen you do this dumb shit on purpose. It wasn't a point that you made. It was clearly edited to make a look like a certain point. So, you know what I mean? And that's the thing about shock value as well. A lot of these dudes say shock value shit and they don't mean it. They don't fucking mean it. They they do not think women are like that or at all. As a matter of fact, there's some of the biggest simps on earth, a la fresh and fit, a la a lot of these motherfuckers, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, what's the dude that the um, uh, John Murphy? I think I made a video on him. Uh, what's the other guy? The unplugged guy, unplugged white guy with the bald head. He's a he's a simp. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're all like that. It's so fucking weird. So that's why you're getting your ass busted. Should date your name? Basically, totally thrown out of context. Now. Here's another version of that exact same clip so the whole with version. context. How many girls do you know actually have hobbies? This applies to men too, obviously, because when men have no hobbies, that basically means they jerk off and play video games. Let me play that part again, guys. This applies to men too, obviously, because when men have no hobbies, that basically means they jerk off and play video games. So Sounds like a hobby to me. When I say this applies to men as well, I don't hear anything. No stitches. Because there, you didn't put that in the original clip, you dipshit. You wanted them to come and see your content and it failed. They only seen your clip, which that's how most people, most, uh, let me tell y'all how this content creator shit works, okay? What people do is they, they have a great clip or whatever the case may be. And some guys, especially guys, I see, women do it too. Uh, but what they do is they add shock value to it. The shock value is supposed to get you so upset that you find this person's page and you go and you subscribe or you go and you see the full context of the of the of the thing. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't like fresh and fit for them. It works um, on occasions. Um, sometimes they get suspended off of an app because their content is too shock value. Sometimes they have fights. That's when you know their views are going up. I, we can keep going all day. Now, it might get you the views at the end of the day, but it's going to get you a lot of scrutiny. And what you didn't expect was there to be this type of scrutiny that probably stopped your channel from growing or whatever the case may be. But hey, okay. No duets, no TikToks. How many men do you know that actually have hobbies? Crickets, guys. Nobody says anything, okay? Nobody's getting offended at all. But if I say, how many women do you know that actually have hobbies? Boom, off with his head. See, this is the double standard that goes on on the internet right now, especially TikTok. This and dude to be is fair, TikTok is like literally a, a safe space. But when I shit on men for not having hobbies and all they do is play video games and jerk off. Watch Riley Reed videos, play Fortnite, eat Cheetos, and just live on Reddit. Fucking losers, dude. It's if tough, that's man. you, you're a fucking loser, man. Get it together. Nobody's stitching. No Doja Cat, no funny reaction videos, no girls leaving really aggressive things in the comment section. Only when talking about women do people on the internet get mad. So this was a very interesting experiment to run. Probably not going to run it again, but basically yeah, it didn't the idea here, work, guys. Because it didn't work. You didn't, you're not running, you you're, you're not running it again. You're not running that again because it didn't work. It stopped what you were doing. That's why you're not running it again. That's why it does not work. It does not work for everybody. It does not work for every dude. The reason why a lot of these guys do it now is because at the end of the day, they have a loyal fan base. Um, I seen your channel. I think you have like four between like 7,000 or something like that subscribers at the point that I made this video. But at the end of the day, it is going to stop your growth. It is going to get sponsorships from taken away from you. It is going to um, have you living off your fandom and things like that. And that's why the Manosphere hasn't grown in itself because uh, at the end of the day, you're going to stop your growth because y'all think y'all have to devalue women or say stupid shit about women in order to get more eyes on you. But with more eyes on you, they start looking at your content and they start looking at all that stuff. Not to say that you can't make make uh, controversial takes and things like that, 
but let's stop being stupid on the internet. Like we're we're joining the women in being stupid on the internet. You get what I'm saying? And men just did not do this. We didn't. We didn't. We don't do shit like this. Okay. So, hey man, listen. If that's how you want to run your content, bro, that's how you run your content. But um, that's all I wanted to really show, man. Like, subscribe, comment. I uh, hope these guys get it to fucking gather. I don't even know why you created this, bro. That was a dumbass excuse. So, hey man, whatever. Peace.